actually it never really died as okay okay <laughs> M- manila magic is still alive wow as it ever was <laughs> um people just don't know it but i know we only have a song one song out but yeah. i don't know it just means it'll, we still consider ourselves like um you know one half of manila magic mm, that's like nice. each other we still consider it because it was such a big part of our artistry yeah? it mm. really helped us yeah. become you know who we are now yeah um, as producers and as as our as writers and people that we uh, the thing that I learned a lot from that sort of experience was just like, um, you know, the the innocence of creating music of like, because it was a side project. So mm, for sure, we we had this yeah. idea of like yeah. let's just create um, music that you know we won't even expect to hit big or anything. Mm, yeah, and apparently, you know, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. The entire thing. Yeah, but yeah, man. Um, I think my reaction when people ask me like, "Where's Manila Magic now?" I think we're still here, you know. Yeah. And you never know; we might release something. Can you put it on like oh. Apple, Apple or Spotify? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Actually, ano lang siya. Uh, YouTube exclusive. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ano lang? I, I'll put it in. Ano? What was that? I'll put it in. What was that? Please before where you put music. Oh man. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on SoundCloud. Yeah. But it's a SoundCloud exclusive. SoundCloud exclusive. My I don't goodness. know. Maybe. My goodness. What is that like when you guys release that song? Because like what you said, I'm sure you weren't really expecting it to go big, but somehow it did. Yeah. And this is in in all credit to you guys, this is even before one click and four spades really blew mm. up. You know, I mean, you guys were already on the rise, but it didn't blow up yet, um, from what I remember. So, what what was your initial reaction? You're like, oh shoot, like people like our music. When when it started to sort of blow up per se, mm. when people started talking about it, I think it was just really a nice feeling. I guess all I could say, like, it was such yeah. a yeah. genuinely, uh, it was genuinely uh, overwhelming and such a nice feeling, humbling feeling mm. where people can actually, you know, talk about your music in that way. Like the 80s music was something that was a part of us, me and Zil, like a huge, huge mm. part of us. So if people, you know, like, I don't know why, but for some, for some people, it, it was new to them. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. think it was, I think at that time, huh, for the, for the kids out there, they, 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 we're really inspired by what you mm. did, and I'm just really happy to be a part of you know their um, their lives <laughs> and their yeah. journey. As you see, I think there are a lot of musicians that really came up to us and parang, they told us about hey, like it just really inspired me to pursue electronic music. Also. Nice, yeah. And that's the I don't know, it's just a good feeling just when I'm you're sure. a producer. Sure. Wow, well, when you like, man, like this guy <laughs> inspired by me. What? Like, yeah, man. Like, like, yeah, like uh, I'm. Yeah, so it's really inspiring. I'm yeah. sure. Sorry. I'm sure.